Dell Web at Vieira has been a tremendous success. In a little over a year and a half, they sold over 250 homes, and many of you have called me and have decided to make Dell Web at Vieira your next home. But what about the 30,000 square foot amenity center and all the sport courts and all the things that you can do at Dell Web at Vieira? Well, I've got it here. Well, kind of. My name is David Jelinek, and a little over a year ago, I did the first ever complete video on Dell Webb at Vieira. I showed all seven of their model homes. I showed the neighborhoods. I showed the streets. I showed the prices. I showed everything about Dell Webb. And you responded. I had dozens and dozens and dozens of calls from people like you that asked me about Dell Webb at Vieira. And many of you ended up coming here and purchasing a beautiful brand new home here at Dell Webb at Vieira. But perhaps the biggest draw to Dell Webb or any Dell Webb is their amenity center. So the 30,000 square foot amenity center at Dell Webb at Vieira is slated to be completed in mid to late summer 2025. And of course, that'll feature a beautiful 30,000 square foot under air clubhouse. It has an event lawn, it'll have sport courts, tennis and pickleball courts, a fitness center, community garden, a zero entry pool with sun shelf, They'll have walking and biking trails around it, dog park around it, a buckyball court, outdoor spa near the pool there, fire pits near the pool, poolside cabanas. Inside, they'll have art and crafts room. It'll have an on-site tavern and grill, which is a fantastic thing. So it's not done in Vieira yet, but the next best thing is in Orlando. So the people at Dell Webb tell me that the community center, the amenity center at Sunbridge, Dell Webb Sunbridge in Orlando, which was completed about a year, year and a half ago, is going to be very close to the amenity center that's going to be here in Vieira. So I went to Sunbridge. I went to Orlando to take a look at their amenity center. I filmed it. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm also going to show you their floor plan for their paired villas. So their paired villa option will be available later this year, perhaps early 2025. There's no model here in Vieira. So I filmed that model too. The Paired Villas is a wonderful option for those who don't want a single family home for one, somebody that wants a little bit lesser space, a little lower price. So I'm going to go through that whole floor plan in this video as well. My name is David Jelinek. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Melbourne, Florida area, which is also known as the Space Coast. Please know that I make videos that are all about the Melbourne, Florida area, what's like to live here, what's like to work here, what's like to play here, the food, the beaches, the entertainment, the real estate, and much, much more. I've lived in this area for over 40 years. I've been a realtor for more than 36 years, so I know this area very very well. If you're looking for an experienced agent to help you with your move here to the Melbourne, Florida area, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'll be happy to set up a private call with you to discuss my services and to help make your move here to the Melbourne, Florida area a very easy one and a very fun one. So if you're considering a move here to the Melbourne, Florida area, to the Vieira, Florida area, and you're considering a 55 plus community, again, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'll be happy to discuss Dell Webb or any of the other fine 55 plus communities here in the Melbourne and the Vieira, Florida area. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the amenity center now at Sunbridge, which again is supposed to be very similar to the one you're going to find in Vieira. I'm also going to show you and walk you through the Ellenwood paired duplex model, which again will be coming to Dell Webb at Vieira very soon. And stick with me to the end because I'm going to have a few surprises for you in the end. Okay, so I'm here in Orlando today on a beautiful Crisp morning here for Florida standards in the mid 50s. Beautiful sunny day, blue skies, and I'm going to walk us through the beautiful 27,000 square foot clubhouse here in Orlando at the Dell Webb at Sunbridge facility. And uh, you can see it has a nice covered entryway here that if you want to pull up, if it's raining by chance, you can easily get into the facility without getting wet. They have a nice big parking lot that you can. Uh, park and enjoy the interior or the sports courts on the side. So all of the entry areas are gated or keyed. So you have to have your key pass to get in the facility there. That's my wife letting me in. And as we get inside, I mean, it's just a beautiful facility, gathering lounge there, like a lobby to a fine hotel. You have your check-in, your hammock club there. If you have questions or issues about your membership or bringing guests in, Beautiful high ceilings, really well lit. I mean, this is just like a high quality 
hotel lobby to me. What it looks like, you've got your seating areas if you want to visit with friends or guests that come in. You've got those areas there. And uh, again, here's just another view of the lobby area. Uh, just really, really beautiful entrance. And one thing that's really special about the Dell Webs at, uh, at Sunbridge and Aviera, they have their own little lounge here, their tavern, their grill. So this is open every day of the year, basically, and you have access to this. And we actually ate there, and uh, the meal was really good. It was very reasonable in cost. Just a really nice, dedicated restaurant. They have outdoor seating, which we'll see in just a few minutes. Really nice uh, tavern and grill there. So as you walk down, uh, the, again, from the lobby, you walk, walk down some of the, the walkways here. It just resembles a, just a nice hotel a foyer and walkway. You've got your different meeting rooms, your tech room, multi-purpose rooms that they plan events on a weekly and monthly basis for you. And we'll just continue to walk down the hallway here. Just a really beautiful facility, high ceilings again, well lit. Uh, this again was early in the morning and uh, not much was going on at this point here, but this is their big multimedia, uh, you know, kind of their uh, banquet room, you would say, their multi-purpose room that they can divide into either a big room or into smaller areas if they want. They got a big stage there for big events for the community. And, uh, you know, again, of course, you got just your restrooms. Uh, as you walk down further here, again, you see really nice lighting throughout here. And uh, we'll get down, we'll see some more of their craft rooms, uh, which the next room here will be one of their uh, wet craft rooms. They got tables and they do pottery and art, and they'll have classes again on a weekly and monthly basis, you know, based on, on the residents' needs. So if there's a big need for more classes, they will do more classes. Again, you have a uh, full-time lifestyle director that's going to help with activities here. And again, Sunbridge is, is not sold out yet either. It's still being built, so uh, the community is still developing. And we're going to go down a little further here and just uh, see a little bit more. Here's another view of their big banquet room, uh, Fellowship Hall here. And again, uh, it's for big events and they can section it off if they need uh, additional smaller rooms, uh, if they need that for different events. So we're down here a little further. So on each end of the uh, amenity center, they have entrances where you don't have to go through the foyer. You can go through some of the side entrances here if you want to go directly to a meeting room, just kind of like a, a conference center you would see. Um, you know, you can go through and, and get to the separate entrances or you can go right on through to the pool area, which we'll see again in just a few minutes. So again, here's just another craft room that they have available and those doors out there go to the pool area. Okay, now I've taken us through to the other side of the amenity center and we're going to see their beautiful big fitness center. And again, this is fairly early in the morning, it's about 10 a.m. And uh, I came walking through here, just a beautiful facility, a lot of different machines, weights uh, that you can choose from. When I walked back through about an hour later, there was quite a few people in here, but just a beautiful facility. You got fans here to keep it cool. And uh, you got a view of the pool out there from the uh, fitness center here. And uh, they do have classes here. They do offer classes. They do offer personal training. Uh, if you want to have a specific personal trainer to help you do uh, fitness and exercises, they do offer that as well. So uh, just a beautiful facility, a lot of windows. This was a beautiful day. It was a cool day outside, but it was a beautiful day. And there you can kind of see that some of their classes that they have on their board there, and their personal trainers that they offer. And that is extra if you want personal training. So we'll go down to the very end of the Menti Center here. And again, they have another room here. This is more of an aerobics room, a large room for uh, different activities such as that. They can do dance classes. They can do different group fitness classes uh, here. And uh, it's nice. And when you walk in, the lights automatically come on. But again, they have other uh, things uh, for fitness. Uh, just a nice little, uh, it's not little, it's a good sized room here for different fitness classes for their members. Really nice. And again, you can come in and out from the front parking lot directly out through to the pool if you want to access it through this way. Very simple and easy. Okay, here we go. We're out the back door of the Menti Center now. We're looking at the back pool area here. So they have some nice areas. And this is right adjacent to the restaurant. So you can come out here and just sit and lounge if you want, or you can be served out here in their exterior patio. They do have screening 
for the summertime when the bugs might get a little bit more uh, ominous and uh, so they have that for your protection there but this is a nice outdoor seating for their tavern and grill really nice spot and of course you walk out here and this is where you have your resort style pool and amenities outside just really beautiful facility landscape just really really well done and they have a nice uh, area of several different fun game areas there of course you see the corno uh, area there, but uh, we'll walk on through and show you this whole area just really really well landscaped and again entry to the gate uh, pool area is monitored with a uh, Gate key pass. We're gonna walk down here this way and that's artificial turf So it'll never get muddy in there for the, the cornhole tossing which is very popular here of course in Florida And they have a couple of these now they have a couple outdoor fire pits. This is one great seating area here and uh, this would have been a good uh, day to do it. Again, it's about uh, 55 or so out here this morning. It's fairly cool. Not a lot, in the, not, not, not a lot of people in the pool, but there are a few. Uh, of course, you got more outdoor areas here with um, umbrellas and tables. Now, here's a little entertainment area here, a little stage, covered stage area where they can put a little concerts or little group events out here on the side and a little grassy area. People can sit out there with their chairs when they have musical groups out here uh, playing. So um, I'll look back here. And now we'll take a look at the pool area. There's two pools in this pool in, in the Sunbridge Amenity Center. And you see there, it says children's pool hours. Well, you're probably asking, well, why is that? Well, sometimes, you know, you'll have your grandkids out here and they have special hours here and there upon demand where they'll have for kids only or kids that will be allowed to be in the pool area there. So there's certain times where the kids are not. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of children here, but they do allow that as an option if you do have your grandkids there visiting you in your cornhole area here and this is very popular I've seen it in the evenings here it gets very popular and fun with people and we're just gonna take a quick little stroll here and look at the main pool area a little bit and again uh, it's, it's kind of cool here today it's in the mid 50s but there are a couple swimmers out back in their lap lanes actually doing their laps getting their exercise in if you look closely you can see them back there uh, doing their laps so you have a general pool area you have like a beach entry area there right here in the front and then in the back there you have uh, specific lap lanes where people can get their exercise in a lot of covered areas cabana areas there is a hot tub as well which we'll see coming around this side here so let's go ahead and take a look around the other side of the pool area. And again, this amenity center is going to be similar to that at Vieira. It's not going to, the one of Vieira is not going to be exactly the same as the one here in Sunbridge, but it'll be very, very similar in what it offers. Okay, so we'll take a little look here. You'll see the hot tub directly ahead of you there. You can see the nice hot tub area. And then another look there at the beautiful pool okay so now we're gonna go over here and they have a really nice outdoor pavilion here that is covered so that if you want to uh, have a picnic out here and cook some on their outdoor kitchen, they've got a nice big pavilion here. There's restrooms there, of course, for ease of use. And uh, the really nice covered area here to, they'll have a group uh, association outings here where they'll be doing some barbecues and some cooking out here on the grill, some exterior outdoor festivities and if you want to cook your own you've got an exterior gas grill out here as well that you can use just a really nice facility here for afternoon and weekend barbecues out here by the pool again you got another very nice gas fire pit there with seating right there by the lake beautiful lake again the facility in Vieira will be very similar that there'll be a nice big beautiful lake right behind the whole amenity center just imagine yourself there in the evenings, nice uh, cooler evenings there in in the Del Webb at Vieira location. So we're going to take one more quick look at the pool area here from this angle. And again, the back there you can kind of see the lap area, the lap pool, the resistant pool area there in the back there. There's a couple people back there right now swimming. 
And then you've got uh, the, another view here of the outdoor spa, the hot tub area with seating all around. All right, so let's take a quick little walk over to the sport court area. And we come to the ever popular pickleball courts. So they will have similar pickleball courts in Vieira. They have, looks like seven beautiful pickleball courts here and in beautiful condition. They got some covered area here for when you're off the court, waiting to play the next match. Beautiful courts here. And then we walk around to the other side and you'll see they got some very nice tennis courts. So if you didn't notice, the pickleball courts, the dedicated pickleball courts are nice because they have a more smaller area. So if the ball's bouncing all over the place in a pickleball court, it doesn't go the whole distance of the whole tennis court. So if you're considering a new home purchase here at Del Webb at Vieira, it's very important that you have agent representation through the process. Again, you can contact these sales reps directly and they're very, very nice. They're very, very knowledgeable, but ultimately they represent the builder. You're able to hire an agent like myself, an independent agent, to help you through the process. It won't cost you any more to have an agent like myself helping you with the negotiations, helping through the picking out process, the lot process, the pros and cons of this or that, any lot of questions you may not even think about. You're not having to pay additional for representation like that. You can't get the home for any less if you go to the builder direct. So it's important to have agent representation for somebody that's experienced like myself. So again, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. And I'll be happy to talk to you about Del Webb or any other area in the Melbourne, Florida area. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the pair duplex, the Ellenwood model that is coming to Vieira. Del Webb at Vieira, it's here in Sunbridge. The model is now the pair duplex of the Ellenwood is the Ellenwood plan is on both sides of this duplex. And it is a very nice model. I like this model. It's a two bedroom with a flex room, two bath, 1579 square feet under air with a two car garage. So you have split entry here between the two sides. You come in the front door and you'll see to the right, you'll have a little mudroom area. You'll have your utility room area to the right and you'll have your garage to the right there. So if you look straight ahead, that's the main part of the house. We'll get to that in just a minute. As we come through, there is your laundry room or your utility room. You've got a little bit of room for shelving or cabinets if you want them. Plenty of room there for your washer and dryer. And here's your little mud room area there as we're looking at the door to the garage. So as you come into the garage, you can put your shoes, your groceries down there temporarily, your briefcase, whatever you want. And of course, your two car garage. So it's a good size two car garage. As we turn around here, okay, you can see the overall very clean dimensions. Of course, you can then have an attic pull down stairs there if you want to use your attic space above the garage. There is room to put flooring up there and to have storage up there. You have a little closet. So again, you come in your front door here and your main part of your house is basically straight ahead. So your flex room is gonna be right here to our right, you can put double doors up there if you like, or you can leave it open. That is an option, that will be your choice. It's a little bigger than 10 by 10 room there. A very nice space, again, that could be a bedroom. It could be a also an area there for uh, just an office. So as we walk through, we see the main part of the house here. Very nice uh, wide area that uh, accommodates, of course, the kitchen, a dining room, and your living room in the back. So I love this floor plan. It has a nice island kitchen there. You can put a couple stools there and eat right there at the counter if you like. Now this model as it sits is upgraded quite a bit. They have tile floors throughout the house. That is an upgrade. Of course you have a very good size, great room there that you can put your TV on. Plenty of room for a couch, chairs, love seat, whatever you want to do. Nice area there for your dining room table. You can fit easily six to eight people there. And again, looking back at the kitchen, so you get granite or quartz countertops with their standard choice, and you can upgrade their choice there, but that is a standard getting granite or quartz as your countertop. 
They have several different choices there for your cabinet colors. Beautiful kitchen, stainless steel appliances. Very nice kitchen. Pantry there, as you see. You look out into your living area, really a nice living space. So we're going to walk on through the living area here. You have nice high ceilings, recessed lighting. You have choices of whether you want to put your tile down all the way or you want to leave some carpet. You can too. Carpet in the bedrooms is standard. Just a quick peek out to the porch area, which we'll see last. And a quick look back here at the living area from the back of the house. Very comfortable space here. Nice wide living area, dining room, kitchen. Really a nice space. Got a big wall here for a big TV if that's what you want. And as we peek in here to the master or the primary suite, so that is a king size bed. So you see there's plenty of room for a couple nightstands, dresser, mirror, plenty of room. And again, at Dell Webb, all of your windows are impact rated windows. So that is covered. Now into your primary bath, you have, again, you have quartz or granite countertops, dual sinks, really nicely lit area, good size shower area, again, high ceilings, you have a commode area, a little linen closet, and then you're basically your big walk-in closet. A lot of space, a lot of shelving to store a lot of things. Really good space. Of course, your water closet or your commode area there, private with a door. Really nice lit primary suite and bath. A lot of natural light coming in the house. And the primary suite is a good size room. Now as we walk back out into the main living area, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the front of the house and take a quick look at the second bedroom and the second bath. Get your pantry right there to your right as we walk through. And this would be your second bedroom, of course. Good size bedroom, almost 11 by 11. Now that is a queen size bed there, so you have plenty of space there, again, for nightstands. Generous closet. Good size room for a second bedroom. And then right around the corner there is you're gonna have your second bath, which again will have a shower, nice sink area there. A very nice second bath. Of course, most people in this age bracket want showers. You can, as an option, put a combination tub and shower in if you want. And you have your quartz or granite countertops, which are, again, standard. And you come back out here, see the living area. We're going to walk back through the home here, we're going to see the last part of the house, which will be the screened porch area. So this covered lanai or covered porch area is a good size, fits several chairs, tables, a lot of different things you can work with out here. Now you can also eventually add you have additional space out here. If you want to put an additional patio out here, you can. You can kind of see where your, where your lot line goes, where that fence is there, which divides the home here with the other side of the duplex. So you have privacy there. But you can add an extra patio out there if you so choose. This is a beautiful lake lot. There are some that don't have lakes. So this is the Ellenwood, a very nice floor plan, in my opinion, a really good option for you to choose.
Okay, so for my extra bonus here, I'm going to show you what the Amenti Center construction is looking like here. We're here in February of 2024. The projected finishing date here of the Amenti Center is mid-summer to late summer 2025. So you can see behind me here, they have the pickleball courts, the tennis courts going up. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of what's happening here. Again, if you're interested in Dell Webb, it's a beautiful community. Reach out to me. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email, and I'll be happy to show you around and explain to you what's available here in this beautiful 55-plus community. And as I've mentioned before, they're currently using a house here as a temporary amenity center where people can gather until the actual amenity center in 2025 is completed. So if you like this content, if you're looking for more information about Florida or the Melbourne, Florida area, why don't you give me a like, hit that subscribe button. That way it'll help me grow my channel and get out the information more to you and to many others who are looking for a move here to the Melbourne, Florida area. Thank you.